I want you to think about the highway. There are many vehicles on the highway. There are motorcycles, cars, trucks, and semis. Now, each of these vehicles is designed to get someone somewhere else, but they also each have benefits and drawbacks. For example, if you wanted to move some lumber, you wouldn't or couldn't use a motorcycle. Similarly, if you wanted to feel the wind on your body and experience some high g-forces, you probably wouldn't pick a semi. When it comes to layer 2 scaling solutions, there are many different options out there and it is becoming obvious that each solution has its own place. Similar to how there are many different options for vehicles, they each have different purposes. Welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, the number one YouTube channel for crypto education, and here we explain topics of the cryptocurrency world using analogies, stories, and examples so that you can easily understand them. In this video, we're going to explain what the famous Layer 2 scaling solutions are, including some examples and giving an overview that will allow you to actually understand how they work. Yes, we personally have done research on this and realized all those explanations out there seem like they're in another language, so we promise to explain them so easily your grandpa could understand. First, we must explain what Layer 2 scaling solutions are trying to solve. Essentially, these major blockchains can only do 7 transactions a second, or 15 transactions a second, which is very small and slow compared to Visa, which can do like 100,000 transactions a second. To compete with these centralized methods, we need to find a way to process more transactions per second. Now, there are two ways to scale. We can either scale the base layer, or we can outsource some of the work to a new layer. Here's why we can't scale the base layer. The blockchain trilemma. Now, we've actually already talked about the blockchain trilemma before, but basically there are three big important areas when it comes to a blockchain. Decentralization, security, and scalability. Without going too in-depth, developers haven't found a way to maximize all three. If they try to improve one, the other two start to lose their benefits. Because of this, developers have to be really creative to find out how to scale a blockchain. Now, I'm gonna go over some layer two scaling solutions, and we say layer two because usually they aren't code written to affect the actual true blockchain, but instead outside factors or tools that allow the network to scale through them. Again, keep in mind the motorcycle, car, truck, and semi analogy that I used earlier. Each of these layer 2 scaling solutions has a place in scaling a blockchain. It's not so much as which one is the best, but which one is the best for the situation that you're working with. Number 1. Rollups First off, rollups are complicated. When we started learning about them, the more answers we found, the more questions we asked. And the more questions that we asked, the more technical and confusing they got. As an education yet entertainment channel, we are going to try to explain these at such a high level that you won't get bored or scared from learning about them. However, we are actually working on a roll-up specific video right now that explains them with a bit more detail. In short, there are two forms of roll-ups. There are ZK roll-ups and optimistic roll-ups. Again, the next few sentences are very high level overviews of how they both work. ZK rollups are much faster and much more efficient rollups that combine a bunch of things that you want to do on the blockchain into one rolled up thing. However, they can't use smart contracts. On the other hand, optimistic rollups actually have their own optimistic virtual machine, which allows them to do stuff with smart contracts, but they are slower and less efficient. Either way, these rollups are basically rolling up a bunch of transactions into a single transaction, and then they can push that to the true blockchain. Now, we have many other layer 2 scaling solutions to get to, so we have to move on. But if you want the specifics of how rollups work, subscribe, turn on notifications, and get ready for that amazing video. Next up, we have side chains. Side chains act probably exactly how you think they would act. They are literally secondary blockchains that run parallel to the side of a main chain and use the resources they have to offload the work. They can steal or borrow information from the main blockchain and then use their virtual machine to execute smart contracts or validate transactions and then send the data that they have back to the main blockchain for security reasons. A side chain cannot operate without its parent chain. But, a parent chain does not need a side chain. In the case of Ethereum, the Matic or the Polygon network is actually a side chain. XDAI is also a side chain. 
The next scaling solution we have is Plasma. Now Plasma may be the most confusing layer 2 solution out there. In fact, we had written summaries of all the other solutions and then came back to Plasma. And it's probably because there's no good explanations out there already that don't involve the use of code or a complete generalization that they just work but you don't need to understand how. So let us try. In short, Plasma uses child chains, sometimes also called plasma chains, which have their own child chains that they can then broadcast important operations to the main chain. Think about it like how the United States is divided into the federal system and the local system. There might be federal news that is super important, such as when the president signs an executive order, or there might be local news, such as when your cousin wins valedictorian. Well, both of these are important pieces of information that should be recorded. However, one of these might warrant a $10,000 photo shoot and 50 new articles about it. Thinking about child chains like this in the plasma idea is probably the best way to understand how this layer 2 scaling solution actually works. Leave a comment below if you're really interested about plasma chains and you want us to make a specific video about it. Otherwise, we'll leave it at that. Next up, we have channels. Channels are a way to lock up your funds and then trade a virtual version of your funds on a network that is much faster. For example, when it comes to Visa, whenever we swipe our credit card or debit card, we are not really sending true dollar bills from us to the vendor. Instead, we are sending a virtual number representation of how many dollars that we actually own to that vendor. And since everyone agrees that the virtual dollar is equal to a real dollar, there's no issues. In a channel system, we simply use code to make sure that you can only send what you have actually locked up. The Lightning Network is an example of a layer 2 scaling solution using channels for the Bitcoin blockchain. Essentially, you lock up some of your Bitcoins with someone else, and then you can send your virtual Bitcoins back and forth until you decide to settle up and push one transaction to the blockchain instead of a whole bunch of them that you would have done otherwise. Similarly to the way a lightning bolt works, you can pay anyone that is connected to the person that you locked up your initial coins with through the network. We actually have a whole video on the Lightning Network that explains exactly how it works, and you should check it out if you really want to completely understand how a channel solution works to scale a network. Now, a downside of channels is that they can only be used for transaction, not stuff like smart contracts or virtual machine code. They are application specific, only transactions. However, they still work, as the Lightning Network has actually been called a great success in avoiding high Bitcoin transaction fees while allowing Bitcoin to scale and stay secure. So as we end this video, we want to say that we aren't sponsored. We aren't even making money yet. In fact, today marks $10,000 of our own money invested in this project and four full months of work. If you like this video and want to support our work, the best way that you can do it is by watching our other videos, as well as checking out our Facebook, Instagram, and even our website, whiteboardcrypto.com. We believe in this project and your feedback is insanely important in our growth. So please leave a comment below on what you think of our latest videos. We hope that you enjoyed watching this video. We really hope that you learned something. And most of all, we hope that you watch other videos on our channel if you're interested in learning more. See you guys in the next video.